सॉल्व x क्यू प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स माइनस सिक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो हियर इन इक्वालिटी इज प्रेजेंट दैट मीन्स यू विल गेट सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स सेटिस्फाइंग द इक्वेशन ओके एंड हाउ डू वी गेट दो सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स सी Initially, don't consider the inequality. What you do is take it to be equal to zero and solve it and get the values of x. Solve x cube plus four x square plus x minus six equal to zero. Whenever he told you to solve, we need to find the values of x. And how do we find the values of x? C. Remember, even in quadratic equation, also we used to change the x term. Here also, I will change the x term only. So I will change this term. Here it is plus one x. See now, how do I change? Instead of plus one x, I will be writing plus four x minus three x. Accepted, right? Plus four minus three is plus one. Minus six equal to zero. Next, from these three, what can I take common? X. So what do I get from here? I get x square, and here I get four x plus four. From these two, I will take minus three common. So I am left with x plus two. Okay, now more. How do I simplify? Did you get any catch? Now, how do we simplify this? We will factorize it. That is x times x square. In place of 4x, now I will be writing plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 minus 3 times x plus 2 equal to 0. Now. What can I take common from these two? X, x plus two. Over here also I should get the same thing. From plus two x, x is gone inside means outside is plus two. If doubt, you can multiply and see. Still you will get the same answer. Okay. Minus three times of x plus two equal to zero. Next. From these two, take x plus two common. So you are left with x and plus two. Okay. This is factorization. Okay. Now, how do I simplify this? Did you get the catch? Now you should take x plus two common. So if I take x plus two, what do I get? Here I am left with these two. X times x plus two. Here it is minus three, equal to zero. Next, x plus two times multiply. So what do I get? X square plus two x minus three, equal to zero. Again, quadratic. I need to factorize, and this time also I will change the x term only. I write here, so it is x plus two brackets x square. In place of plus two x, now I will be writing plus three x minus one x. So plus three x minus one x minus three as it is equal to zero. Okay, next x plus two. From this two, what can I take common x? So x plus three I will get. So here also I should get x plus three. That means x has gone inside, so outside should be minus one. If doubt, you can multiply and see. Still, you should get the same result. Okay, next. 
now i take x plus 3 common so here i am left with x and here i am left with minus 1 equal to 0 clear now product of these three brackets equal to 0 that could only happen if either one of them is equal to 0 so that tells us either this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 if x plus 2 equal to 0 take minus 2 on both sides i get x equal to minus 2 if x plus 3 equal to 0 take minus 3 on both sides i get x equal to minus 3 if x minus 1 equal to 0 take plus 1 on both sides so x equal to 1 so these are the values of x for our given equation okay x values that you get are minus 3 minus 2 and 1 now show these values of x on the number line So let us say 1 here, minus 2 here, minus 3 here. Now your number line is divided into 4 parts. They are part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. Now which part is our answer? How do we decide it? Based on this one, C. In this region there will be 0. So if take x equal to 0 and place in this, what answer will you get? If this is 0, this is gone, x is 0, this is gone, this is gone, leaving you minus 6, that is negative. If here it is negative, next will be positive. If here negative means before positive, if here positive means before negative. The signs will change alternately negative positive negative positive in that way okay now how do we decide which part is our answer means based on this one here you see the inequality is greater than zero greater than zero means positive values so positive part on the number line is your answer so the positive part is this one and this one now how do i represent this minus 3 less than x less than minus 2 and how do i represent this region x greater than 1 so these are the values set of values for x satisfying the condition okay